something to give it some red. Uh, where's the brush I was going to use? Oh, there it is, a little flat one I think. Ooh. Don't hit the camera. So this is Humberol Mac 34 with their new, ooh, their new symbology with a peppermint, I mean a polo mint, meaning matte I think that's what that means. Don't know why you need that for. I don't know how well it'll take to black. But the idea is that the red will stand out better on white. That's not bad. It's only using it uh, like a primer. So. Not sure if it's the best brush for this or not. Got on the buffer heads now. Get off. Could make the red stand out better. I'm sure red on black won't stand out very well. I can get rid of the bit that's gone on the black afterwards. Mm. Don't need much because it's, it's just a primer. That's how white it should be, but that's thick paint. Don't want it all blobby like that. I don't want it pink like Mr. Blobby either. Sort of buffer heads. I'm not sure. The bits that stick, stanchions, I suppose they might be called. The bit that supports the internal mechanism. Something like that. Smaller brush. Get the tissue paper out here. Use that to take off the what you don't want there. Can I can't see it against white paint against? No, you just take it off best you can. Go around. I don't know what to do about them. Maybe let's leave them black. I'll leave well done alone. Probably could have saved time, right? 
Open that first. Now, so if the kid's going to drop it, they're going to land on those buffers and break off. So the more plastic there is to glue back together again and, and paint, maybe the better. Some kid's going to grab hold of it and drop it over the side of the table or whatever. Layout sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's done that side. Now do the other end. Oh no, I've got to do these bits with it, oh. Do the side of the brush. Like that, and it comes off nicely. Yeah. I think that's going to be a hook. Like that. And on this side. What's that side like? A little bit there. Oh, it comes off. What about this side here? Alright. Oops. I'll do the top, I suppose. Can't get it any lower through this body holding device. See how long it is. Oh, the camera does sort of focus on it, and it's amazing. There you go, that cleans up right. Like that. Got nice sharp edges now, see on the white. You see them? So you've got to be perfect first time, as long as you do it before the paint dries. Which on enamels, or at least humble enamels, is quite a long time. Wash the brush, and put this one quick. Right. There is also a lamp there. Can you see them? Can you see that? I think you probably can. Get that out of the way. Right. Yeah, there's little lamps there, moulded in. Oh, that must be white as well. So, anyway. Need some white paint on here. And Some on there already, aren't we? Across there, underneath, like that, around this side. I think they've done the buffer, buffer beam, that's the word, isn't it? Yeah. Buffer beam. Oh, I've got to paint on it. Yeah. Oh. Swallowing up the rivets. Rivet count doesn't want something to count. Alright, I'm going to go down like that. Now I swap the paintbrush to that smaller one now. So, um, do those lamps. They're there, so I might as well do them. Maybe a white body and a paint the lens, and then it might be a red double red paint. Probably a darker red. Alright, and there's a little diddy one. Use that, and we can wipe off the excess later. Well, this will be more tricky. Where well, it hits the black, anyway. Mm -hmm. 
I can't really do the inside here, can I? I'll just do it like that. See the top of the lamp. Of oh, course, that's difficult. Where are we? Yeah. Hold, look, holding the, this finger on the other hand like that to keep it still. Wedge it all still. That one, that one. A little bit there. Alright, okay, it's not too bad. I'm going to do this side. Oh, that's another body work again. Oh. Mainly because I can't see. Got very matte black paint and you can't see the edges or rather the internal corners and up here and this one's not as good, I can't see so much because the lights are all this side so this one's lit up but this one's in its own shadow well, in shadow, not its own shadow Anyway, I've got to go on the side there here. Be on top. Oh, nice. Now, yeah, I've got to use that side. There's no more white, is there? I suppose I can put a... I presume those dials in the cab there should be dry by now, because that's cellulose paint. So I'm going to use this brush and just put a dob of paint. And I can hold this thing. No, I need it this way. That's it, and it lights up the inside from this light over and it, there. <laughs> I literally just get a gob, a little blob of paint on the end. Just touch it and don't. Not sure what that's supposed to do. Another one just there. Like that. Uh huh. I'm going to wipe the brush. Now I've got to take the excess paint off. Same brush. And take it off around the edges here. If it's laying like that, I can let go and use one hand only, and that's just quite good. Take it off, draw it off, and then soak up this residue here. Spread it about. They won't notice. Like that, I'll do this other lamp. I'll do the lamps first. This one's all right, it's just that corner there, and it is there. And let me spread it about, get it far enough apart, away from it, that it just blends in. You won't notice it. All right, now, so we'll get it off this buffer. Bring this over there, I need that. Now I'll do these edges, there's a bit of gold paint now, I'll put some matte on that sometime. Matte black, right. hide that. Right. Make your way around. Underneath. Oops, went over there. I'm going to be doing exactly the same sort of thing when you do the red. And there. It's a bit sharp. Come on. You mustn't do this too hard with a good brush because it's doing this side to side movement that ruins the nice pointy end. It just happens to be convenient. Nice accurate brush. And that's coming off alright. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We've done that bit already, I don't remember. Like that. I've done that bit like that. Like that. Over there. Oops. Did we do that? 
เอาดิเอาดิแม่ลองแม่แม่ลองแม่ I've got to do the top here just to the side of the lamps right there that one's all right in the middle this here there as well there we go a little bit of residue showing there get that off of there off Those little bits like that bit of gold just there can be touched up with matte black paint later. I notice that it's shiny. I know I've got the, the white spirit on it, but I did accidentally use satin to touch that up from some bronze that went over there and I realised it wasn't matte. I didn't read the tin, I just saw the black bit. So that was a mistake. Okay, that's nice and sharp there now. That's still sharp. Oh, and I've got to do the buffers, haven't I? The back of the buffers. I haven't done them. That funny round bit, whatever that is. Look at that out of the way. You can't see. Hmm. Oh, I missed that bit of white there. Hmm, let's put some on then. Take this off. Come on, get off. Get there. Right, using the same brush here. I'm going to put that bit of white. Oh, come on, I missed. It immediately puts it all over. I'll oh, just take it off. Mm, okay. I'll take it off again. Yeah. <laughs> Using the same brush. Where was it? Oh, come on. Is that it? Or is that it? I don't know. Look all around it. Yeah, there's a little bit more just there. A donut-y shaped bit. Oh, where's that then? Enough. Right. You notice these? That's not uh, got high gloss plastic. That is, that's not turps on there. When you compare to this end, that that's old. They forgot to paint them. I think they're not even the same buffers. They got that sort of black donutty bit. Well, it was, it was left black anyway. And this end just plain. Totally different buffers in each end. Anyway, there you go. I don't think there's anything else white on there. So, who's that then? Alright, I'll put the copper on the pipes on the firebox back head yesterday it's all dried so now i'm going to try a technique oh and on the chimney i'm going to try and do that first actually <clears throat> a way of uh putting the black inside the copper hence the metallic first idea well, i've already stirred this umbrella mac 33 not the satin one i did that by accident last time so i didn't read the left what type of paint it was so and have what looks like grooves. See them? Yes, you can. So, for some reason, the smoke doesn't come out of a hole in the middle. It comes out like a vent, a bit like a something like a yeah, central heating vent on the side of your house. I suppose. <laughs> a bit weird. Right. All right. There's my paint in there. 
don't have to be super accurate if you take it off again that's the idea they did it with us with the silver and the black first time round. So there's the black in there and it's got it's gone over the copper in certain places. No matter. Alright, so now using a flat brush, a damp flat brush, a little one. Oh, put that there. You can see what I'm doing. Sort of. What's that little flat brush? Uh, there it is, this one. That eighth one again. Probably have to get a new one then sooner or later because you overuse these things, they lose their definition on the tip. So it doesn't look too bad actually. Go across it at an angle so not to take the black out, but to take it off the crests. A bit of tissue paper around so I can, can see the bits of residue coming off there. A sideways action across it like that. Not down it, that'll go straight into the paint and take it right out down the groove. Like that. Bit there you can see there that overlaps onto the whatever this top bit you call cap I suppose and it's quite an easy job to do yeah it's all black around there so you take it up see look there's black go like that and the copper is revealed it's an easier way to to do things I find Put paint off, take paint off again. Well, the camera just ran out of storage just then, so I've had to free up some space. Nearly 200 gigabytes of space. Uh, well, there you go, that's the, the chimney. You can see that all right. That's uh, come out okay. Well, I think that's a chimney. Anyway, now I'm going to do the back head. So with that little flat brush, again, I've taken the paint off, now I'm going to put the paint on. Yeah, I'll do it. Do it. No, lighting doesn't work sideways, does it? Got to tilt it like that. I'm not going to do all the back head, just the bits. Skim over some areas, get rid of silvery bits. I don't want that. So, the black out there. Down that window. Right, get rid of it. Just blacken it up a bit. Tiny looks tiny amount of black paint to do this. And obviously there's that some gold residue there. Left over from doing the um doing around that window. With the gold, with the, sorry, brass paint the other day. Yeah. Mainly alright. In here, need at the back there. Okay. I'm on the roof here. I've got silvery bits, as you can see under there, that look a bit weird. Back out a bit. A little goes a long way with this stuff. And that bit of bronze just there, get rid of that as well. Just cleans up the look. Yeah. Really, uh, it should be white, I suppose, or cream. Alright, let's do that back head. The round bit. I'm not going to go all the way down, just the coppery pipe area. Mm. 
and you'll notice that we will end up going over some of the there's a lot of copper pipes there I'm going over them the idea is to get rid of the silver to give the what it is there more definition Something like that. Now, that's blacker, isn't it? Maybe whatever that bit is. Maybe the, the mottly silvery bit down the bottom, which you probably can't see now. I might be able to see it at an angle, I don't know what you can see there. Uh, put it down a minute when I change brushes. This is not the best example to do this method that I'm doing. Because the pipe work is so faint, the definition is lost. Works better on a proper moulded example. That Hornby's latest ones and that one's latest ones. Right, I don't know if this will work. Not. I've, I've done it before. What we've got here is called a colour sharpener, and it's like a rubber brush or a razor in effect. I'm going to call it a colour shaper, not sharp, a shaper. Flat chisel blade. Just make it damp with terps. You have to excuse me, I'll keep calling this stuff terps. And someone was brought up, it's called terps long before we knew it as white spirit, and I can't stop saying it. Now there are. Those copper pipes in there. Oh, I just realised I've got my little reed glasses on. Let me close up glasses on for thee. That's better. Well, you can still see some of that pipe work anyway. Oh, yeah. oh now hang on. I can still see copper on the back head where it should, shouldn't be there. Tiniest little bit then. Down there. Get down there. Get, get in there. Right. Now, basically, I'm doing the same as I did on around the chimney vent. Let's call it a thingy. We're now going to remove paint or attempt to. This is going to be very easy on here. Oh, God knows what you can see. But you, to, you want the paint still wet, but you don't want it runny. So, how can we see somewhat more obvious? Like that way, you just rub it off. That's the idea. Now, as I go over it and touch it, the hot, the, as this is not a brush, we, we can splay out. It will touch the the top of the pipe, and hopefully only the top of the pipe, and won't try to spread around it and go down the bottom. So as you just, I don't know if you saw that or not. So we have this that water vial thing. See, look, it just takes it off, takes the tops off. And there's the paint, see it on there? Let's get it in the more in the middle. And wash it off just the same as you would a brush like that. See, you can see the paint that's coming off. I still want it sort of damp with. over the various bits I know there's some pipe down down whatever this great lump is here I know there's a bit of pipe work down there yeah, let's pull it up you can see it now just <laughs> it's microscopic and it works reasonably well this method this is why I say you put the the metallic on first it's easy to remove the ordinary paint from a now, if you were trying to paint the metallic over the black and paint the pipe work, you'll be splodging it all over the place. So the idea is to splodge it over the place anyway, and then the, the black at the bottom of the pipe will get covered up. Sorry, the 
copper splodges at the bottom of the pipework will get covered over by the black and then you just remove the black from the high high points which is the sticky up pipes uh, down there and bring it up there I should get rid of something there is that a copper pipe I forgot quite possible there's a copper pipe that's there Sure, what that bit there is. Yeah. Yeah, they need a little bit of black in that. It's under that dial there as well. With a funny little glitch. I don't know what that is. Just there. around these ones they're quite high mm. Mm. a bit tricky something like that anyway. you can see white white dots anyway my close up glasses aren't that close up. Well, if you see shine back, well, that's the actual matte paint, while it's still wet, it's gloss, it's wet, so it shines off. So it looks like I haven't done it. Now, can I, you can see the copper work now, the pipe work with the black. You can't answer me because I'm just talking to myself, really, I'm like pretending to talk to someone who's listening. I think I've got it. I can see the little taps now. A little tap on the there, another little tap there. They they now show up, which they didn't before. Hmm. Some of these other bits down here, maybe. Yeah. That'll do. For in there. I've done that little bit of got rid of that. No, we've got rid of that little bit of copper just there. Not copper, bronze, just there. there we go. It was showing up before. Probably could do with a few bits here as well. Right, just there. Oh, it's got some on there. I didn't want to do that. That's all these bits there are supposed to be there. I didn't by accident in got second did my these bits just make them up a bit and at the front uh, all right I think so get around here by that's it for the black that worked well, it was a lot easier than I thought it'd be actually so bear these things in mind if you've never seen one before quite useful for delicate work paint rough and use that to get the delicacy 